This is a Royal Navy HAS Mark III Lynx, a direct descendant of the original Lynx. It took over a decade and tens of millions of pounds to develop, and by 1982, Westland was struggling to survive. The Lynx was designed to replace two aging Royal Navy helicopters, the Wasp and the Wessex and on the international arms market to rival America's great Vietnam icon, the Bell Huey. Westland's designers knew their future depended on the success of the Lynx, so they pulled out all the stops with new performance-enhancing technologies. Up here we have two Rolls-Royce Gem engines, each producing 800 horsepower. They were specially designed for the Lynx insofar as they're much more compact than other gas turbine engines of similar output. But the real work of genius on the Lynx was its rotor hub, the mechanical rotor control system, which in most other helicopters has lots of hinges, vital for stable flight. So Fluff, why is the rotor head so, in, so key to the performance of this helicopter? It is one of the key components of any helicopter. Um, and with the Lynx aircraft, the, the rotor hub itself is very, very different. All we have on the Lynx is what's called a semi-rigid rotor head. And the reason that is, is we only have one hinge. The flexible rotor hub becomes the hinge. If I was to press down on the head itself, you can I actually see, it, see yeah. the flexing. Mm -hmm. And it's actually the titanium itself which absorbs that flight load. The titanium is the key thing that allows us to have this rotor head on this aircraft, which makes the aircraft so manoeuvrable and agile. With new materials and innovative design, Westland kept the Lynx's weight to a minimum, maximising its weapons carrying capability from depth charges to torpedoes and missiles. Well, let's say lethal blue missile attached. What is it and what does it do? Well, this is the Sea Skewer missile. Uh, it's a, uh, a sea skimming missile, semi-active, uh, and is controlled by the radar that's on board of the, uh, the Lynx. Why is the Lynx so good? The Lynx is fast, it's agile, uh, it can uh, hover outside of the, the enemy's uh, missile zone, uh, and it's perfectly designed to give a stable platform for firing skewer away and getting the maximum chance of, uh, of prosecuting the enemy. And prosecute it would. The Lynx rotor system was designed to be deliberately unstable, giving it spectacular evasive manoeuvrability when under attack. But it was also given a state-of-the-art automatic flight control system, not an autopilot, but a computer that assists the pilot to keep the aircraft steady to fire weapons, and enabling the Lynx to boast the ability to land on the tiny rear deck of a frigate in anything up to a Force 8 gale.